Okay, so in this video, guys, we're going to be creating an API for our lambda function that we just uh, made over here. And really, all of our all that our lambda function is doing, I'll go ahead and open it again natively, is it's invoking the particle API. And that function here that we're calling on the particle uh, on the particle device itself uh, simply turns the built-in light on pin D7 either on or off, depending on the um, the command sent to it. And now our API takes in a few parameters, and I'll go again back to the native code that we have right here. It's going to take in this device ID, and while we're here, I said we were going to switch this over to a parameter as well, so we can define which function on the particle device we want to call. So I'll call it particle function. So this will be another parameter, as well as the argument, which will be, you know, something like right here, this command on or off. And then finally, we have the authentication token. So um, in practice, this is probably not the most secure way to create this application. In later videos, we'll go on and we'll define um, better ways to, um, you know, pass in a device ID and a authentication token. However, we just want to call, um, we're just creating the API right now just to um, start moving along. So we can do this by, um, and again, I'll just test that particle, that, that Lambda function that we have, and all it's doing right now is it's turning on the light, and we, um, we're passing in some parameters as it is right now, uh, the device ID, the argument, which is on, and then the authentication token. So what we want to do now is start creating a, um, an API and we should note that since I did change this code right here um, to accept this particle function as a parameter now, we're going to have to save that, re-upload this to Lambda in just a second. So I'll preemptively compress everything and then rename it to index.js or index.zip, excuse me. And I guess since it's on my mind, we'll go ahead and do that anyways. We'll just upload it to Lambda real quick. So go here, um, we'll upload that zip, and then we'll save it. And we don't want to test because as of now it's going to fail. Um, we're going to have to pass in another parameter right here, configure test event. But let's just make the API. So I went to API Gateway, we're just getting started, this is the first API. And we're just going to call it Particle Function, or Particle API, rather. And then we're going to create a resource, and this is where we're going to call it particle function. Create that resource. And then we'll define a method, like a get method or a post method. In this case, we'll just go ahead and create a get method. And once we have that method, um, we're going to select the lambda function integration type because we made a lambda function. And the region that we're in was US West 1. This may depend on, um, you know, it may vary depending on where you are. So we'll save that. And it's going to give us a warning about um, security. And we're going to say, yeah, because we, we want to call this function. And then now you'll select integration requests. So if you get lost, um, you click resources. And then you'll click that get method itself. And then we'll go into integration requests. So again, it's just going to um, tell us some stuff we know. We already defined all that. but where we can tell it that we're going to pass in some parameters to this function and we'll click body mapping templates add it as an application JSON and then select that check mark here and then yes secure this integration and then down here we're going to define some variables to pass into our function so these are the parameters now um, let me begin typing real quick and I'll kind of tell you guys what's going on so we had some in this lambda function. Let me look at it natively, sorry. So in this lambda function, we had defined some um, some parameters that we're going to use inside the function, such as device ID. So I'll copy this. And so the key value right here is going to be what we use in the lambda function itself. So um, device ID is going to correspond to device ID right here when we call that event.device ID. So I'll grab another 
And I'll tell you guys what I'm doing right now. Let me just paste everything. And I always forget to wrap that. Okay, so some key value pairs and these key values are going to be the parameters that get sent to this function right here. Now the key, the left hand side of this, this is what we use in the particle in the lambda function. On the right side, this is the name that we're passing in to the um, URL or the get request. So for instance, I'll show you in a second, you type in dollar sign input dot params. And then um, we're just going to name it the same as what we have on the we're going to name it the same as what we have on the left side just to make everything easier but we can e we could have just as easily changed these um, these variable names up and then when we pass whatever parameters into that get request we would have to have it correspond with this value so I'm going to name it particle function argument and off. okay we're going to save this, and everything should work. It looks good to me. So we're going to save it, and then we're going to actually deploy this API. And now we'll be able to call it. So the deployment stage for now is just going to be dev. And we're not going to give this stage the a description or anything like that. So the API itself has been called, and we can, or has been deployed, excuse me. And we can invoke it by scrolling down, looking at that get function. And then we'll copy this URL, and I'm going to open up a separate application like Postman um, to make this request and I was kind of working on this a little earlier so we'll clear everything there okay excuse me guys so we're in Postman let's try this again I'm gonna put in that URL that we got from Lambda or sorry from the API gateway right here where we can invoke that API then I'm gonna push this params button in Postman and then we're gonna give it the parameters that we said we needed so for instance, I had them already in this test event, so I'll just copy. So we have device ID, argument, device ID, argument. Then that new one that I created was particle function. And then we have auth. That particle function I just know is called flashlight. The argument that I want, since my light is on currently, let's Let's switch it up. Let's turn it off. So I'll switch it to off and then authentication. I'll get those um, values right now from that Lambda thing right here. So there's device ID and then authentication. And now when I send this, of course I get a bad string. And the issue I had was there was a comma right there. I'm a little dope, so I do stuff like that. And then we'll go ahead and deploy that API again. It's um, it's good to be able to know how to you know debug your own errors because if you're like me, you'll be making those errors a lot. So then if we go ahead and try to send that get request again, there you go. We see that that actually has worked. So we've created an API and we've exposed it. And this API is calling our Lambda function, which communicates with the particle device itself. This is kind of swanky stuff so far. So we're going to just keep uh, building on this, and we'll um, make some more intricate applications.